This is how you can make a moderate user panel using your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go in and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to quickly say that if you're interested in purchasing a bot package pre-made by me, go ahead and click the links in the description below. You can go ahead and view these three packages and we will be making more soon. You can actually go ahead and click on the package and you'll be able to see the features list right here. If you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by clicking the links in the description below and either getting a god tier on Discord or a super god tier on YouTube. If any of this is of interest to you, just go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with it, and let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so we can start off by going over to moderation, and we're gonna go ahead and create mod user.js. In here, we're gonna get our context menu builder, and we can also get our embed builder, we can get our application command type, we can get our action row builder, we can get our string select menu builder, and we can also get our permissions bit field, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package, just like that. Then we can do module.exports, and we're going to open this up and get our data, which is going to be our new context menu builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a name. This is going to be moderate. And then we can go ahead and set a type here. And this is going to be our application command type dot user. So we're going to be getting the user and not a message. Then we can go ahead and do async execute, and we can go ahead and get our interaction, and then we can actually go ahead and open this up here. So first we're going to go ahead and say if no interaction.member.permissions.has, then we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags, and we're just going to go ahead and do that band members, you could really do any permission you would like. Then we can return await interaction dot reply, and we can say content, then we can go ahead and say you don't have perms to use this. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and set informal on that to true. So now we can do const user equals await interaction.guild.members.fetch, and we're gonna get our interaction.target ID. Then we can do const menu equals new action row builder, and we're gonna go ahead and add some components. We can open this up. We're gonna get our new string select menu builder, and we can actually add some parentheses. Then we can go ahead and set our min values to one. We can go ahead and set our max values to two, and we're gonna go ahead and set our placeholder to nothing select. Then we can go ahead and add some options and we can open that up. We're going to open this up again. We can do label, which is going to be ban. And we can do description, which is going to be a ban the member. And we can set our value to ban. And we're going to go ahead and get our interaction.target ID. So what we're doing here is we're creating our first menu option, which is going to be titled ban, description as ban the member. And this is going to be the value that we're going to be getting later because we're going to remove the ban. And we're also going to use that ban as the ID to see what moderation action we're going to use. And then we're going to get the user ID so we can moderate them. Then we're going to add some more options. So next we can do maybe label and we can do kick and we're going to go ahead and set a description. So we can do description and we're going to go ahead and say kick the member. And finally, we can go ahead and set our value. And this is going to be kick, and we can get our interaction.target ID just like before. So you can add as many moderative options as you would like. You could do timeout, you could do mod name, you could do mute, you could do ban kick, um, pretty much any moderation command you could think of, you could add here. Just keep in mind, however many you plan on adding, just add that number of values to the max value. So if you were planning on doing five moderation commands, change this number from two to five. But for me and this tutorial example, we're just gonna be using the ban and kick. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Then we can go ahead and send this, but we're first gonna make an embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're gonna go ahead and set a color. I'm gonna go ahead and make this purple. And we can go ahead and set a description. And we can just go ahead and get a key emoji. And we can go ahead and say moderate. And we can go ahead and get our user. And we can say below, just like that. Now we can actually send this. So we can do await interaction to reply. And we can get our embeds. And we're going to get our embed. And we can also get our components, which is going to be our menu. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. Now this is important. If you do set informal to true, you do not have to do anything special within the index.js. If you set it to false, you're gonna have to use a permission statement within that index.js for the actual select menu. But because we set informal to true, we're just gonna not use this in the index.js in our client on an event where we actually handle the moderation. So now we're done with the command. So we can actually go over to that index.js or any channel that you would like to handle your interaction create event in. So this could be within a separate file if you would like. So we're gonna start by saying mod user and we can do client.on. We're gonna go ahead and get events.interactioncreate. We can get our interaction just like this and I'm gonna open this up here. So in 
thing here we're going to say if no interaction.guild then we're just going to go ahead and return and we can also say if interaction.custom id is not equal to our moderates then we can just go ahead and return as well and we're going to say else to finish that off now one thing i did forget to do is i actually forgot to set the custom id so we're going to go back to the string builder and we can set a custom id and this is just going to be moderate just like we did within that index so now back in here we can go back into the else here and we're just going to start off by getting our string so we can do const string equals await interaction dot values dot to a string and just like that now we can say if string dot includes and we're going to get our band keyword then we can go ahead and open this up we can do const user id equals and we can do await interaction dot values and we can do zero dot replace and we're going to do slash band and we can do slash g and we can do a comma and we're just going to go ahead and replace that with nothing so now we can actually go ahead and do const reason equals and we're going to do moderated by and we can get our interaction dot user dot id so that's just going to be the reason for the band now we can create this band so we can do const band equals await interaction dot guild dot band to create and we can get our user ID and we're gonna get our reason as that object and we're also gonna catch an error here and we're gonna actually go ahead and change this to an async error and I'm just gonna make sure I got that variable correct so now that we're in here we can just go ahead and do await interaction dot reply so we're gonna be replying to that select menu we can say content and we can say I couldn't ban that user and we're also going to go ahead and set informal on that to true. Now we are using a variable for this ban because we're going to be checking if the ban was executed when we actually send the success message. So we're going to do if and we're going to say ban. We can just return or we could just do await interaction to reply. And we can say content and we can go ahead and say I have banned. And we're going to get user ID without a space because there is already going to be a space uh, within that. So next, we're going to go ahead and set informal to true, just like that. So we have now handled our ban command. So next, we're going to do our kick, but this is the format that you're going to follow. So let's say you have a different command. Let's say you have moderate nickname, timeout, whatever it is. Just go ahead and follow this format. So you're just going to go ahead and check to see if it includes that timeout keyword, for example. You're going to get the user ID by replacing that keyword uh, and just getting that string. And then you could set a reason. You could execute that timeout with a handled interaction. And then you could set that variable. And if that variable does exist, meaning if the timeout or whatever moderation occurred, then you can go ahead and reply with that success message. So we're going to follow that format for the kick. So we can do if, and we're going to do string.includes. And we can do kick, and then we can open this up. Now, the reason we're not doing else if is because this could be happening at the same time. So if both options were selected at the same time, we need to be able to run them. So we're going to do const user ID equals await interaction dot values. And we can just get zero again. It doesn't really matter. And we can do dot replace. And we're going to go ahead and do slash kick. And we can do slash G. And then we can do comma. And we're just going to replace it like that. And then we can do const member equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch. And we're going to get our user ID just like that here. Next, we can go ahead and do const kick equals await member.kick, and we can just go ahead and open up our reason, which is going to be moderated by, and we can get our interaction.user.id. Um, and then we can actually go ahead and catch an error here, and we're going to do an async error again, and we can open this up, and we're just going to do await interaction.reply, just like we did above, and we can go ahead and say content, and we can say I could not or couldn't kick that user. And we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true as well. So now that we've done that, we can check for the variable again. So we can do if kick. And we can just go ahead and reply to that. So we can do interaction reply. We can get content and we can say I have kicked. And we're going to get our user ID variable just like that. And we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true. So now that we've done that, we are actually done because that's all of the events I've actually gone ahead and created. For you, you might do more if you have a more advanced moderation panel. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to be doing that. So now we can actually go ahead and save both of these files, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server here, we can actually go ahead and test this out. I'm going to be getting it with Dino. So we can just do apps, and we can go ahead and click on moderate, and we're going to be using that app here. So now, as you can see, we have our moderate menu, and we have two options we can select. We have ban, or we can have kick. So to start, we're going to be doing kick, then we can do ban, and we can do both at the same time. So we're going to do kick, and we can just click out of that. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and think for a second, and then it's going to say, I have kicked that user ID. Now, as you can see, Dino is gone. So let's actually go ahead and mention that user. 
And as you can see here, Dino is no longer in the server. And if we go over to our audit log, it's going to say it kicked Dino. So now let's just go ahead and add it back so we can go ahead and click add to server. And I'm just going to go ahead and add it back to the bot testing server. All right. So now, as you can see here, we have Dino back within the server. So let's just go ahead and redo this command. We're going to go ahead and get apps again. We can do moderate. And here's our menu. So this time, let's just go ahead and ban Dino. So we can select a ban. And now, as you can see, just like before, it's going to think, and then it's going to say, I have banned that user ID. Now, if we go back into the bans here, now we have user, and we actually have moderated by my user ID as the reason. So that successfully worked. So now let's go ahead and unban, and we can actually go ahead and add it back. All right, so for the final test, we're just going to try to do both at once. So we can do apps. We're going to do moderate again. The only reason this would really be applicable would be like if you were trying to time out and moderate their nickname at the same time, or maybe time out and warn that user at the same time. Obviously, you're not going to be able to ban and kick them at the same time, but I'm just going to do this to showcase that it does work, and it's going to actually go ahead and handle that error. So we're going to go ahead and choose ban, and we can choose kick at the same time. Now, just one one thing to keep in mind is I did set ban first, meaning it is going to ban the member. It's not going to kick the member. So the command that's going to fail is the kick command. The reason I did that is because if you're trying to ban, that has a little bit more precedence over a kick. So that's just what I did for that code. So now we can actually go ahead and send it here. And now, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say, I have banned that user. And it's just not going to go ahead and reply. Now, if we go over into the bans and we actually go ahead and check, as you can see, it did work. And we selected kick at the same time, but nothing went ahead and happened. Now, I didn't do a very good job actually handling the errors that you might be getting uh, for this command. I just went ahead and executed it. So if you are getting any errors, just go ahead and join the server in the description below. And you can actually go ahead and send them here, and we'll be able to help you uh, handle that a little bit better. Um, but it should work other than that. If you'd like to join anyways for the coding community, the link to the server will be in the description below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.